What's up, Kevil Maniacs? This is Kevil Rocks, and welcome to this video of Kevil Rocks video. So today, I'm about to do this kind of video, and it's called Reading Your Comments with Kevil Rocks. That's right, I'm gonna read your guys' comments that you gave me from one of those videos that I posted on, on YouTube, and you guys are interested. Thank you for the likes that that you like the game and stuff, and and thank you for giving me dislikes, but I'm not saying it like a sad thing. I'm saying that I respect your opinion, so you you guys are good. So right now I got um I got some six comments on my pip on my paper. I have you guys' comments on paper, so they're very interesting and they could be very weird and funny. <laughs> so anyway, <clears throat> let's begin, shall we? So first up. For, from the Art of Fighting game that I posted it on YouTube, uh, this comment is from Brandon Enri Enrique Enriquez. There you go. <laughs> and he and he and he posted his comment like this. <clears throat> ah yes, one of my fave '90s fighters. Fun game with smooth animation and nice designs. And yes. Rio and Robert appear in King of Fighters, but Art of Fighting came first. So you're right, Brandon. I checked out, I checked it up on it, and it's been proven that you're right. This game does come out first before King of Fighters. Well, I got to admit, this game is really cool. No, no joke. No joke. It never lies. It doesn't. All right. With that said, next next comment. Uh, this guy named Michael Aguilar, Aguilar, that must be his name, uh, from the King of Fighters uh, Alpha 2012 uh, game that I that I posted on YouTube and, and made it as a playlist. So he wrote he wrote to he wrote this comment like this: uh, Thank you for the shout out, Kevin. And can you do more Dragon Ball Z, but with the Xbox and the PS2? Well, Michael, sure, I should do that. I should, I accept your shout out. I forgot to do that, but I wanted to do something very special to accept your shout out on a special episode I'm about to do on a certain day and this year. So, thank you for the, thank you for the shout out, but I'll do that on a, on a special episode. So, how, how's that? Alright, so, next up, uh, Tor Silva. That must be his name. Uh, from the PlayStation 2 Jam Pack Volume 11 demo disc, uh, one-off gameplay, uh, to play games that was not released in stores yet. So, he told me the question. What's name of this game? It's Jam Pack. Jam Pack Volume 11. That, that's the name of the title. So that you will, so that you will play the demo disc, the demo games, until they re they release it, the full version. That's what it's saying. And another comment from the same video, uh, like Tor Silva, is Keon Goldsmith, and he said to me, "God, you're corny, dude. IG practice makes perfect." What the heck is an IG? I'm sorry guys, I don't even know what IG is. So, if you guys know what IG means from Keon Goldsmith, say something in the comments below that what I, that you know what IG means. And I don't know why practice makes perfect. Like, who's the IG? Really, I don't even know what IG is. So, oh well. Oh, excuse me, guys. I didn't mean to. <laughs> oh. Alright, so next up for the the same video, like Tor, Zil Tor, Tor Silva and Keon Goldsmith, is Ferdrick Enriquez. And he said to me, I still have the disc. Oh, good for you, Fred. Ferdrick. Good for you. And these were both playing demo games. To, ch to try out those games that were not released in stores yet. Until 2013, 2015, or whatever. Dan packs are really cool. 
They're really, really cool. All right, so let's see. And last but not least, uh, this guy named Under Great Sky Gameplay sent me this comment when I posted the the Super C uh, game uh, video and made it to a playlist. And he said to me, uh, this is one of the hardest Contra games. You're right, man. It's very hard. Really hard. Super C is not easy. It's 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 even more harder than Contra. So I gotta give Konami credit for it. To give us a hard challenge trying to beat the game without dying. It's like a speedrun or something. So anyway, these are the six comments that I found something interesting from the videos that I posted on YouTube. So thank you for thank you for for six uh, YouTube fans who gave me those interesting comments and thank you to all Kevil Maniacs for watching the uh, read your comments video so subscribe my channel give me two or three likes say something in the comments below and give me a shout out just like Michael Agu Aguilar about the Dragon Ball Z thing <laughs> so don't worry Michael I'll do the Dragon Ball Z on a special episode I'll promise so this is Kevil Rocks saying Shalada, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.